Homefront will return. Can't someone pick up my phone? Carrie here. You're dead, Carrie. That package you promised never got here. This isn't Mr. Carrie. This is his secretary. Please hold. <clears throat> Federal Express, I need to check on a package fast. Keep holding, please. I hear Mr. Carrie down the hall. Only Federal Express can confirm delivery in seconds. Other companies can take days. That package was delivered at 9.07, signed for by Mr. Hanson. Oh, sir. That's okay. Federal Express, our most important package is yours. Yeah, right away. Everything's pressure today. So I have more than just a headache. I have stomach upset at the same time. That's a sick to your stomach headache. Now nah, there's relief for the sick to your stomach headache. New Excedrin Dual with two medicines for dual relief. A maximum strength aspirin-free pain reliever for headaches, plus a soothing antacid for stomach upset from acid indigestion. Today's pressures are tough. So is Excedrin Duel. New Excedrin Duel. Relief for the sick to your stomach headache. How did it come to this? A war over child custody. I don't know how to fight this battle again. I don't know how to be strong. But I have to. You were the one that taught me hope. Hope is a hard thing to hang on to, but maybe you're right. Maybe there is a second chance around the next corner. It's the only thing that keeps me going. Tad is headed back where he belongs. All my children, ABC Daytime. Next on the home front. Where are we? Earl Roadhouse. I don't want to eat here. We're having a little surprise birthday party for you. Surprise! Scotch rocks, uh, dry martini. Okay. Say, talk about a small world. Who thought these two Indian fans would meet again? I beg pardon? Jeff. You don't recognize each other? What's the matter? I have a fever and hardly any strength at all. I'm sorry to have to tell you that your wife has polio. 70,000 Ismaili Muslims have the scales all set at Dar es Salaam, East Africa, for one of the world's most unique ceremonies. They're ready to match the weight of their famous leader, the fabulous Aga Khan, in diamonds. It's the Muslim way of celebrating the diamond jubilee of the Aga Khan's rule. A tithe collected for maintenance of Ismaili schools, hospitals, and charities. Now comes the payoff, and they don't say it with flowers. Plastic boxes jammed full of diamonds. One million four hundred thousand dollars worth. As far as Ismaili Muslims are concerned, the Aga Khan is worth his weight in diamonds. Saturday, his wife witnessed a crime. How are we doing? We'll never forget his face. What is it? Oh my God, it's him. I got him, I got him, I got him! She spotted the killer. I identify. We have to let him go. Now, is she the next victim? I know how you feel. No, you don't. Saturday, the commission. Tempers flare and Congress erupts. It sounds like something right out of Washington, but it's not. Good evening, I'm Tom Rooney. And I'm Kelly Eggers. Tonight at 10, just how bad are things going in Russia? Bad enough to bring a room full of Russian lawmakers to blows. We'll have the story. The Catholic Church settles up with dozens of the sexual abuse victims of Father James Porter. And the Irish Republican Army strikes again. This time, 65 people are victims. Join us for all the details coming up on Eyewitness News tonight at 10. Spellbound perfume from Estee Lauder. And now, choose Spellbound or any Estee Lauder fragrance. And this 32-piece collection of makeup and accessories, including 18 eyeshadows, is yours for just $29.50. It's a $190 value. Estee Lauder's special holiday offer is available at Yonkers. Some cold but dry weather moving our way. I'll have the forecast tonight at 10.
December 3rd, 1992. A primetime investigation. The children cried out for help, but no one would listen. Not even the people paid to protect them. They didn't do anything. They caused Anthony's death. Tonight, Chris Wallace tracks down caseworkers who have turned their backs on mistreated and abused children. Do you know what her condition was? She weighed 32 pounds. She'd been physically and sexually abused. It's the ultimate nightmare for every healthcare worker, an out of control patient with AIDS. Her hand met the needle, and the needle um, went into her hand. But it didn't have to happen. These men were supposed to help, and they didn't. Why did you refuse to help this woman? They didn't protect them. They killed my mom. Tonight, for the first time, the woman known as Jane Doe goes public with her story. And finally, 1992 is not...